Okay, this is the MG Robotics um, audio servo controller. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate using the, the RC servo controller in the Android. So we're going to turn it on, get our initialization, servos move, and then I'm going to turn on the phone here. And I had already preloaded this software here. So this is the RC servo controller. And what I've created is I've created a little sequence. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat that sequence. I'm going to go ahead and play back that sequence. So I've created this sequence. Here, let me. I've created this sequence by moving these sliders back and forth, okay? And then every I position the servos where I want them, and then I hit enter, and that saves the sequence. So then let's go ahead and play the sequence back. And you can see. And you can see the what's happening is there's an audio signal coming through here going into the servo controller the audio signal is converted there's a digital signal processing software running in this little MSP 430 that audio signal is converted into uh, signals to control the RC servos if I unplug you can actually hear the audio If I plug back in, let's see the servos go ahead and jump. Then start tracking again. So let's go ahead and what I want to do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop that, and I'm going to select the basic export. So hopefully you can see it. There's a term here that says basic. If I click on that, what this is going to do is it's going to es export a basic program. So export. And it just wrote the basic program. And then what I'll do is I'll exit out of here, and I'll go into RFO basic. And I'm going to go ahead and load the basic program that I just created, which should be this one here, motion1.base. Okay, so I've loaded the program into basic, and here's the program that I created with that RC servo controller. And you can see there are the constants for the position. Uh, and here's the code that actually sequences through the position. And you can just call this code as a subroutine. What this code is actually going to do is, if you look, if you can see it, uh, it's actually going to call the motion. The motion will happen. And then it's going to pause for five seconds. And then it's going to repeat. So then let's go ahead and run. And you can see we got a signal. And you can see there's the servos following the motion that we had just created using the RC servo controller. Now when you see the LEDs go off, that's uh, it's in that, um, that five second pause before it repeats the whole sequence. So now it's off, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,005, and now it starts the sequence all over again. And that, you can create, you can modify that pause to be whatever you want. So now you've just created the sequence using that nice little graphics tool that I showed earlier and that graphics tool wrote a basic program for you so now you can go ahead and you can take this basic program and you can you know, modify it change things if you'd like or include this as part of a bigger basic program where you would um, you know create the motion you want and then ba based on a sensor input or whatever in basic because this RFO basic supports multiple sensors you can go ahead and kick off this motion. So again, 